Hi, welcome to Soul Magic 99. This is a pick a pile reading and it's who is the next person I will date. So I'm just going to clear the cards and the energy with some sage and use my singing bowl to clear the energy. So we have piles one, two, and three. Please subscribe like share my comment and comment down below okay for my channel and once i get to 200 subscribers i will be doing a new another free reading giveaway and a tarot card giveaway so this is pile one so who is the person that we're asking about so we have the knight of wands <clears throat> this is fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they're fiery, driven, passionate, sexually forward. You know, they make decisions and they act on it. They take actions. So this is somebody that's a force of nature, basically, that's coming in. Um, they could be younger than you. They're a knight. Depends on your age or they could be a similar age to you. So personality traits, dedication. This person is very dedicated. They could be a very career-minded person, um, very dedicated um, to their career. They could be very close-knit family, very dedicated to their family. And I think this shows they could be very dedicated in relationships once they set their mind on that, if that's what they're, they're after. We have action, as I said before. Um, action orientated person somebody like you can see the physique here they're very muscly um, very strong you know physically strong they could also be quite mentally strong as well as we said before they're quite dedicated beauty they could be very attractive if it's a feminine energy you know beautiful if it's masculine and handsome you know, a lot of people find them very, you know, attractive and a lot of people would want to have a relationship with them. They're a very powerful individual, as we saw in that other card. They're very strong physically and they have a lot of power, but they know how to use their power wisely. They don't waste, waste it on useless endeavours. New beginnings. So this, they definitely want a new beginning with you. Um, they've been looking for somebody who's their equal and they feel that with you. They've met their match with you, that you are their equal. So let's get some physical characteristics. They're very tall, six foot or more. They're slim build, but obviously they, they've got muscles, I feel. And they could have blue eyes. What other characteristics? They're very strong, as we said before. You know, this is not just physical strength, this is inner strength. Okay, but they have their soft, cuddly side, as you can see here. The lion, you know, is very happy and content in this situation. And I feel this person would be very happy and content with you. And this King of Cups denotes that this person is emotionally mature. And they are ready. Okay, their posture is open. They are ready for a relationship at this time. Here we have some love cards. So this is saying this could be the one. You've already met the part, romantic partner you seek. So, you know, both of you are ready for that relationship. You can see in the card here, the angels, so it's divinely guided, connection. Okay. So this is a very positive start to a relationship. You know, just get to know each other, basically. You might want to time to spend time um, alone together. It's called the same retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you might want to go weekends away, just spend time alone rather than in big groups of people. You really want to get to know each other. And further down the line, 
It could be a commitment because in this picture I see the couple look like they're wearing wedding outfits. Not saying they're solely marriage, but there could be a commitment in the future here. So when you go out on a date, they want to take you out, get you all dressed up. And then when you come back, you know, have that sensual, sexual kissing. You know, you both like to be physically contact each other and be the sensual touching. You know, there's no rush in here. There's just sensual pleasure here. And again, you both possibly like music and romance, both romantic. You know, they're in the garden here with all the flowers around, so the, the scents of the roses, the music in the air, the intimate kissing. It's all very romantic. You know, this is the starting of a, a nice, happy relationship, basically. And if you go out for a meal, I find that you could be having, like, footsie under the table you're both very flirtatious you like to flirt and you know have the eye contact and be sensual with each other okay so it's looking very positive for pile one so i hope you enjoyed that so please like share subscribe and comment down below if any if anything resonates as i say you know take what resonates and leave the rest okay thank you Hello Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So here we have the King of Swords. And the Swords are the air signs. Okay, so that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a King, so it could be a mature man, somebody who's more older than you. Or not necessarily older, but obviously mature in their ways. They're very logical, they're very intelligent. You know, they've reached a good position in their life. They are in a position of authority. Okay, their their stance is open. They're not defensive. I do feel they like animals. There's a, there's a bird here in the picture. And their posture is open. So they're, they're again ready to meet somebody new. And um, they may come across as cold and, and unemotional. But deep down, they do have feelings it's just on the surface they might feel cold. So what other traits does this person have? Well, not so much traits. It's about discovering each other. Um, this person is open to discovering more about you, getting to know each other. You know, it's exciting when you meet somebody new and you have that connection and you just want to know everything about you. But discovery can take some time. It's not something you can immediately you know, know each other, everything about each other. And also this person could be um, darker skinned, you know, like Middle Eastern or uh, from the Americas, Southern America, because of the dark skin here. We have support. So they're very supportive. Okay, they very would be a very supportive partner. Um, and they would listen to you and help you with your problems. They would want to help you. Okay, so you wouldn't feel alone in this relationship. They're very supportive. And also, the picture here shows somebody who could be from Asia, somewhere in, you know, Southeast Asia maybe, um, with those sort of oriental looks as well. So we have also home. So when this person's with you, they feel like they're home. You know, they feel very connected to you. You make them feel safe. You're, you're their safe place. You know, like when you go home and you shut the door, you know, they feel at home with you, basically. There's a strong connection there. They find you irresistible. Um, and you do them. You're irresistible to each other. There's a strong chemistry between you. And they feel that they have plenty to offer you, okay, and you're of equal merit, you know, with your financial stability, with your emotions, with your intelligence, you know, there's plenty to go round there between you both. So what other physical characteristics? We've got athletic build, height, extra tall, so it could be taller than average. 
and hazel eyes possibly. These are obviously, you know, won't apply to everybody. So the other um, personality traits <clears throat> on this card, somebody that's independent, financially stable, as we said before, you know, they've achieved success in their lives and they feel ready now to meet somebody and have a relationship with them um, because they are completely satisfied within their own life. It's not that they need somebody else, it's just that they were, are ready at this time to meet somebody and have a relationship and share everything they have with that person. <clears throat> also, again, we have a, the Queen of Swords. So this could be a match for you because obviously the original card was the King. So we have the King and Queen. So this could be your counterpart here. Okay, and it's also, you could be an S sign also, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, but the personality traits, this person could be a well-balanced person, you know, with the masculine feminine energies within them. The posture is open, you know, they are logical, you know, quick thinking, um, a well-balanced person, I feel, with the masculine and feminine of the swords so what sort of romance will you have <clears throat> it says get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so you know when you first meet somebody take that time to get to know each other be honest and open and share those things but obviously don't share everything at once don't share everything at once with them share what you feel comfortable with but the more open and honest you can be, the better you can get to know each other. And it's vice versa. You both need to do this. Trust. Can take, it can take time to trust somebody. And this situation is calling for you to have trust and faith. It does take time to get to know someone. I do feel this connection is divinely guided. Look, we have an angel there. Someone, you know, divine assistance has brought you together. So trust in the situation that there's a reason you've met. But spend time getting to know each other and then you can build up that trust with each other. So what sort of sexual relations would you have? So the guy here is like, he would like you to give him a nice oily sensual massage. He admires your boobs and he sees you as a star. There's all stars there in the picture. You're his star to him. He thinks you're amazing. He wants to bring you flowers. He wants to pamp you. You know, like if he spends the night and you've had a great night of love and making. He's the sort of guy who's going to get up in the morning, make you a cup of tea, make your breakfast and bring you a rose. So that's romantic, isn't it? He wants to be adventurous sexually with you, so here, here he is out on the swing in the garden, you know, having sex on the swing. But this will, you know, further down the line maybe, this is when you've got to know each other and you can trust each other more. But these are things that he would like to do and be adventurous in his sex, in his sex life, love life with you. Okay, pile two. So I hope you enjoyed that, as I say. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, please like, share, subscribe and comment. And I will see you next time. Hello, Pile 3. Let's see what we have for you. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Pentacles are the Earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Knight, he could possibly be somebody younger, but not necessarily. He could be the same age. Um... He's quite a slow, steady sort of person. He's not like the uh, fire signs who rush in. He He's a lot more thoughtful about his what he does, his movements. So he's not somebody that's going to rush in. The thing is with some earth signs, they can be looking for perfection. And nobody's perfect, um, but they're as hard on themselves as they are on other people. 
So, you know, even though they're looking for perfection, obviously they do realise that perfection doesn't exist. This could be somebody as well that has longer hair than normal um, and could be like... Um, like a Saxon type, you know, a strong body, um, someone who likes to work out in the gym, someone who's a bit unusual looking. This person is very inventive. He could be an inventor or he could be someone that's always looking for new ways to do things. And again, we have the unusual hairstyle here. So it's somebody who's a bit quirky, maybe, and thinks outside the box. Um, somebody a bit different, which is interesting. Somebody who's wise, you know, somebody who's very wise, has a lot of wisdom at their disposal, um, but doesn't shout about it. But if you were to go to them for advice, they would certainly have a lot of wisdom to offer you. So you like that about them, the fact they're wise. They have faith. They could be religious or they could be spiritual person. You know, they have that faith in life and in their destination. Um, so, yes, I think there's some, they are a spiritual person. They have that faith within. They are at peace in themselves. And because of this, they are ready to move on in life and find a partner who they can share their life with. They feel at peace, but they're looking for that relationship with somebody, you know, some when they can share with somebody. So what physical characteristics? They could have grey eyes. They're stocky build, as I said earlier. And they're medium height. So they're more of a stocky build, possibly. Someone that, again, likes to work out. You know, but they've got that body strength that is attractive. They're also very good with their money. Um, this is a pentacle, so, and it was the Knight of Pentacles. So they're very financially secure. They're very good with money. They basically are very good at turning more, you know, the money into more money. So they're very fun financially secure. So again, <clears throat> we have a match here. So we have the knight, it's not the king, but we have the knight and the queen. So you could be a well match there. You could be counterparts to each other. Okay, you could, you could be a earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or share some of those traits. So you're very down to earth people. You're very well balanced. You're very financially stable. Um, you know, the, the feminine, the pentacles, she's very nurturing, very kind, you know, thoughtful, loves nature, loves animals. And again, so in the masculine as well, this is a person that is very kind to others, very thoughtful and, you know, loves animals and nature. So what sort of relationship? So we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. <clears throat> so you could have met this person already. Um, or the person you're going to meet will stir your romantic feelings. You know, you will have this strong romantic feelings towards them. Um, this connection. And it could be new love for you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could lead to love. And look at all the angels around her. So again, I think it's divinely guided, this connection. And you can see the person there in, in the foreground. He's kneeling before her. So it could, it could lead to a commitment. This love could lead to a commitment with somebody. But that's in the future, okay? So what sort of sexual energy is? So... <clears throat> This man is a is this masculine is very fond of your body. He can't wait to see you naked. He just wants to adore you. He finds you very irresistible and attractive. Again, he wants to go outside with you, get sexy, get sensual, have a picnic together, just gaze into your eyes. 
He just can't st stop looking at you. And again, he's looking at you again. You know, he can't wait to see you naked, basically. If he loves your bum, you know, your hair, your legs. He just loves to look at you, basically. <laughs> okay, so that was power three. So, as I say, take what resonates, leave the rest. Please like, share, subscribe and comment down below if there's any other readings you want to see in the future. Um, when I get to 200 subscribers, there will be a free reading giveaway again and a free tarot deck as well. So please keep watching and I will see you again soon. Take care.